The 767F, Boeing's most successful cargo aircraft, has had a significant role in the industry for over 30 years. But recently, Boeing announced the sad news that it will cease production of this historical model. Non-stop there, the company has unveiled a bold new plan that could reshape the future of the air cargo sector. But why did Boeing make this decision, and how will it affect the company and operators? What groundbreaking strategies will go along with Boeing? Let's dive in. The end of Boeing. 767F was officially confirmed in a series of important announcements of Boeing during this manufacturer's efforts to restructure the finances. Although this cargo aircraft has been stopped production for a long time, this two-engine jet aircraft used to be a symbol of innovation in aviation, thanks to pioneering extended range, twin-engine operational performance standards regulations, expanding the range of flying through the ocean. However, the program still maintains the operation through many other variants, especially the 767 freighter, is considered an ideal cargo transport solution for businesses due to its efficiency and cost-effectiveness. Boeing has announced that it will complete the manufacturing and delivery of the final 767 freighters to its key customers. At the same time, the company will continue producing the military version, the KC-46 Pegasus, which is also based on the 767 airframe. Currently, Boeing has 29 outstanding orders for the 767F, including 12 orders from FedEx and 17 orders from UPS. Before the strike occurred, Boeing maintained a production rate of about one aircraft per month, indicating that the completion of production could extend for several more years after the strike ended. Once the delivery of the final aircraft is complete, Boeing will officially conclude the commercial production program of the 767 line, marking the end of over 30 years of continuous manufacturing across various versions and shift its focus to new projects. So why does a 30-year-old cargo aircraft have to be stopped producing? Firstly, Boeing 767's impending cessation of production is linked to a series of factors, with the strike and workforce reductions being significant impacts. Notably, the strike has caused Boeing to incur costs of up to $400 million for this program. Ortberg indicated that BDS will announce a significant new loss in the third quarter, affected by a $700 million penalty related to the KC-46 aircraft. They also stated that this fee reflects the decision to end production of the 767 freighter and the impact of IAM's shutdown. Furthermore, it has caused severe disruptions in the production process, slowing down progress and creating labor shortages. This is particularly critical for older aircraft like the 767, which have struggled to maintain stable production levels due to declining market demand and competition from newer models such as the 787 Dreamliner and A330neo. The workforce reductions at Boeing have also weakened the ability to sustain this aircraft production, as the manufacturer has cut up to 17,000 workers, despite having employed around 171,000 people at the end of last year. As a result, Boeing has had to realign its resources and focus more on newer projects, particularly modern wide-body aircraft and narrow-body models like the 737 MAX. This shift has led to older aircraft, such as the 767, gradually receiving less priority in the production process. Secondly, the primary reason is that the aircraft manufacturer recognized the need to cease production of this freighter aircraft following fuel efficiency regulations for aircraft with specific maximum takeoff weights these regulations are part of a broader initiative aimed at enhancing flight operations and raising industry standards. Many operators globally rely heavily on the 767F, particularly in the US, where companies like UPS and FedEx utilize the aircraft for their flights. For instance, operators such as FedEx Express and UPS, the key customers of Boeing 767F are diverting to the more modern aircraft series or considering using the old aircraft that was transformed into cargo aircraft. FedEx Express used to be the main operator of Boeing 767F. However, the company recently announced plans to reduce the intake of new aircraft and focus on effectively utilizing its existing fleet. They also invest in the modern aircraft series like 777F, aircraft series that has larger capacity and higher efficiency fuel than 767F. UPS, another key operator, is considering modernization of its fleet not only with this aircraft, but also other wide-body aircraft. UPS ordered more Boeing 747-8F and was considering other options that can compete with the old cargo aircraft in operation cost and efficiency fuel. 
In addition, the conversion of older wide-body aircraft like the Airbus A330 and Boeing 777 into freighters, P2F, has increased competition for the 767F. Notably, Boeing also plans to, desis, uh, to deliver the first 777-8 freighter in 2028, which is one year later than previously anticipated. These aircraft offer greater payload capacity and longer operational ranges while meeting the demand for cargo transportation, reducing the need to purchase additional new 767F aircraft. This decline in demand arises from the enhanced operational efficiency of new aircraft models and converted planes, making this Boeing cargo aircraft less attractive to cargo operators as they seek to optimize costs and transportation efficiency in an increasingly competitive market. While Boeing discusses the exemption for extending the lifespan of the freighter aircraft, which achieves long-term success, the demand for this aircraft in the foreseeable future is no longer as high as it was in the past. Moreover, there are still ongoing discussions about a new potential aircraft that can replace the role of the 767F. It could be the 787 freighter, which Boeing's analysts and senior executives have been discussing for five years. According to you, will the plan for the 787F come to fruition? Next, comparing it with its competitors highlights the reasons why it will be stopped from production. The Boeing 767F, when compared with the Airbus A33200F and Boeing 777F, shows a clear difference in cargo capacity, range, and operational cost. Firstly, the Airbus A33200F surpasses it in cargo capacity, with a load capacity of 65 tons compared to 52 tons for the 767F. The range of the A33200F is also longer, reaching up to 7,400 kilometers, while the 767F only achieves 6,015 kilometers, making the A33200F more versatile for medium and long haul routes. However, it has the advantage of lower operating costs due to its smaller size and lower fuel consumption, making it a cost effective choice for cargo airlines on shorter routes. Although the A33200F offers larger cargo space and better fuel efficiency, this aircraft remains attractive due to its lower initial investment cost. In a world where fuel efficiency and capacity are crucial, would you prioritize the greater range of the A33200F or the lower operational costs of the 767F if you were a cargo airline executive? Meanwhile, the Boeing 777F stands out with its superior cargo capacity of up to 102 tons nearly double that of the 767F. The range of the 777F is also impressive, reaching up to 9,200 kilometers, far surpassing the 767F, making it an ideal choice for long haul and transcontinental flights. Although the operating costs of the 777F are higher due to its larger size and cargo capacity, this aircraft offers high economic efficiency for major carriers, especially when transporting large volumes of cargo over long distances. While the 777F and A33200F more effectively meet the demand for cargo transportation on medium and long haul routes, it remains suitable for airlines needing a cost effective aircraft for shorter routes with closely controlled operating costs. Boeing has benefited from the U.S. House of Representatives passing a bill earlier this year allowing the company to extend 767 freighter production for an additional five years, beyond the deadline set by international standards. This provides Boeing with the opportunity to continue supplying this aircraft to major customers like UPS and FedEx if necessary. However, despite this decision offering an optimistic outlook for Boeing, the company's recent announcement in response to the strike indicates that 767F production will end, expected by 2027 or as soon as the backlog of orders is fulfilled. As cargo operators seek more efficient solutions for the future, such as the A350F and 777F, Potential aircraft like the 787F or A330 Neo Freighter are also being considered as viable alternatives, with improved performance and more reasonable costs. Do you think Boeing should continue producing the 767F or focus on new products like the 777F? From 2027, this manufacturer will produce the 7672C only to support the refueling program for the KC-46, including four for Israel, two for Japan, and the remaining 54 for the U.S. Air Force, according to company data. Along with the 777F program anticipated both 787F about cargo aircraft segment, although it is damaged so much by the series of issues, Boeing continues to lead the top of this segment over its rival. 
when a product is old enough, cannot meet all the needs, is no longer highly effective, and has no place in the market, the only consequence is to be removed. Especially for a competitive industry like aviation, competitors compete continuously, so when you become weaker, you are the loser. That is the inevitable law of life in industry for survival. Let's say goodbye to this cargo plane and look forward to the new cargo plane from Boeing. Thanks for watching and wish you always have safe flights.